you can always tell when I've got a convertible because it looks like this looks like it's about to rain. This week, one last look at Audi A5 45 TFSI Cabriolet. At the front, matrix LED lights, and you can have those upgraded to laser lights if you want. But I think they look downright sexy as they are. Behind here, the dome for the radar cruise control. Of course, this does have quattro all-wheel drive. One of the things that you want a convertible for is the roof. And this has got a, a three-layer roof, including the middle layer that's acoustic. It's one of the few convertibles, I think, that looks really sexy with the roof up or down, with the windows up or down. Have a look at how big the high mount stop light is. I mean, it's absolutely enormous. And there's a glass window in that fabric roof. The boot, quite small, relatively speaking. Under the floor, it's just a repair kit. Even though there is space for a spare, maybe just a space saver. And underneath where the rubber release button and reversing camera are, there's a lock button so that you can lock this for when you put it in for a service. So that you can lock your valuables in there. But of course, as with all convertibles, it's the roof going down that everybody wants to see. So, let's have at it. You just pull this little button, the windows go down, the back comes up, and unfolds and then the whole thing unlocks automatically and goes down all by itself. Which I think is rather remarkable and you can do that at up to 50 kilometers an hour. There's a digital driver screen and I don't know if you can see it there but there's a head-up display as well. There's Audi's slightly older entertainment system three zone climate control including one for seats that you're probably never going to use in the back and a row of one select buttons including the automated parking button and the drive select button. There's wireless phone charger, an adjustable armrest and the seven speed automatic selector. The cruise control is on a separate stalk which is a little bit disappointing but everything else is the same. We're not going to go into this too much because, of course, you've all seen this before. Up here on the backs of the seat, you'll notice there's a little vent. Now, you'll notice for me that vent is a little bit short and on the cold winter days when I've had to use it, frankly, it's a little bit useless. But with the windows up like this, believe it or not, you get very little blow inside and we'll see that in a minute on the road. And I really like that when you get into the car, an arm brings the belt out to you. Phone calls in the car are really easy because these two things are microphones and they seem to block out an awful lot of that horrible noise that you get. Alrighty. Put it into drive, the handbrake has released itself. And with the roof down, you can hardly hear a thing. You can when you go into tunnels, <laughs> very much so. Now there's one thing that I've always commented on with these A5s and that is the ride on this variable suspension is absolutely superb, just superb. It is so smooth and the steering in comfort mode like this is light but direct. I know there's a lot of you probably will be thinking how useless is it to have air conditioning on when you've got the roof open and indeed when you've got the windows down it is useless. You still get wafts of cold air in the face but some not really all that helpful. I'm just going to slip it up into dynamic indicate and Now look, that was leisurely. 6.5 seconds to 100 is leisurely in anyone's language. Oh 
idea. You probably can't hear me because I certainly can't hear myself. Dear God. <laughs> that was loud. Uh, I was going to say because. I can hardly hear myself think. I've left the drive mode now in automatic. I think the interesting thing about this is that it's a relatively efficient engine in a relatively big, fairly heavy car. Now this has only been in the parade, so it took the Lord Mayor of Sydney and local MP Alex Greenwich, here are the pride flags to prove it, in Mardi Gras on the weekend, the 45th Mardi Gras, and it was also pride. <laughs> That's really bumpy and actually this was really superb over those bumps. So this has done almost no kilometres since it was filled, and still it's got a range of 710 kilometres. That is extremely impressive. Now, if you were to do a long trip with the roof up, making it as aerodynamic as possible, then you'd probably extend that out to maybe even a thousand kilometers. One thing I've noticed that when I've driven this car in the past with the roof down, and I've been caught in a light shower, because every time I get a convertible, it rains. And the rain, certainly light rain, goes straight over the top of the car until you can get a chance to get down below 50 kilometers an hour and put the roof down, or up, sorry. It has all the Audi safety gear, lane control and active cruise control and so forth. But it is a relatively old model. I think our last review was from 2020. It only comes in two models, this, the 45 TFSI, and the S. The S has a six cylinder engine, so much more poke. But I put it to you, if you're going to be cruising down the highway like I am, on the adjusted armrest, uh, sound by the way from the stereo is just amazing, why would, you, you simply don't need a bigger engine. And the handling in this is superb. This has wireless CarPlay too. And unlike another one of the Germans, we'll just call it BMW X, Audi has no plans. In fact, the VW group has no plans to start charging for CarPlay or heated seats. Both of which BMW are going to be charging for with over the air updates. There's something about being in a convertible that just makes you smile. It makes you feel that you can do something other people can't. And I've always associated it with Route 66 and long drives up the coast. But this week it was associated with two political figures sitting on that back shelf waving to crowds. Well, thank you Audi for giving the car to Clover and Alex for that. It's much appreciated. And that's all this week for our Audi A5 convertible review. One of my favourite convertibles and always has been. As always hit like, leave a comment and on the roundel to subscribe.